Me and number nine. 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 We're, we're, actually, we're getting in the top of the heads. You want to move that, aiming it down a little further there? Aiming it down a little bit. Move it there. There we go. Cool the heads for a bail. I'm doing a lot of happy hands today. Half, half of my head, half of Pat's head. Mm-hmm. So we're on to Stonewood's uh, Stone Beer, the 2020 vintage release. Um, so every year Stone and Wood do a beer that involves putting a big hot stone into the wort and um, using the heat from that hot stone to uh, start the boil or complete the do the boil, but also um, it, it will caramelise the wort. So the wort is the running from the grain and the water that has, that's been the grain that's been smashed up and the water. I put that in, and I, they talk about it being a primeval, traditional process. It's been lost in this <laughs> gift around. However, and it's pretty, it's a nice beer, not it? But this year they've done something a little bit different. I don't think they've done this before, but they've used one malt that is a, uh, a smoke malt. So what that means is in the process of malting the barley, so that's where you use uh, heat to get the barley that is just about germinating to, you know, to kill that process and trap the sugars before you crush, crush the, uh, the grain up. So you've taken the seed and let it almost germinate. That used to be done using any type of fuel underneath that would do it, typically uh, wood that was burned. Um, and of course, that's long since gone as a process for 100, 100 plus 200 years. So um, they use a special type of malt that's been, um, they've used red gum, as a, and that creates a smoky flavour through that particular malt. Can you taste that? I can. It's smoky. It's smoky. It's, yeah. smoky. it's the first stone beer I can truly say is a raft beer, or that, that smoky mm-hmm. beer. Um, and the flavour profile of it, yeah. Whilst I wouldn't say it's... Is it red, red gum, you said? Apparently, that's... Yeah. I think it's um, red gum. So, red gum was used for filtering. Uh, so, the Bundy Red, for example, is filtered through red gum. And that has a really obvious, overt red gum flavour. This one, probably not so much for me. But How do you know what red gum tastes don't you lick trees? Hmm? Don't you lick trees? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never had chew them. I've been licking this one. Yeah. I'm chewing. <laughs> Sorry. It all depends what she enjoys. <coughs> <coughs> so, oh dear. So, beer number seven. Beer number, uh, beer number nine. 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 Yeah. Uh, but no, I will say that. Seven. seven. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I'm sorry you just only having eight. I thought, yeah, we only got one more. Um, so yeah, for me, it is, it's actually quite raspy, it's a really lovely style. Um, probably one of my more favourite stone releases that they've had. A lot of the others have been a bit more caramelised and a, a little bit more of the, the sweeter notes. So this is not, this is... 6.6%? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, if you compare this to the, I mean, there there is a classic brewery in Bavaria. Schlenkler. Uh, in, yeah, the Schlenkler from Bamberg in Germany. and I'm, most people think Rauch beer, they're, they're thinking uh, uh, Ash Winkler from uh, Bamberg. I, I would say that has a more over smokiness to it. Mm-hmm. I really like this. I, think yeah, it's it's great, I, I saw yeah. some. Look, it always splits rooms, so people oh. bloody hate it. They can't oh. stand the smoky beer. And they're probably the same ones who wouldn't like a you know, pork knuckle or a, you know, smoked bacon. Or <laughs> they could be, they could even be vegan, who knows? Oh. Uh, however, I, I actually think this would, if you were trying to introduce people to the concept of smoked beer, I think this would be a nice introduction. It's, yeah, it's really great. It, right. Like if you didn't tell me it was smoked, I'd go, like, oh, it's a bit smoky. But I wouldn't go, I wouldn't be like, I'm not, like, it's not offensive smoke. No. Pat, what are you No, I, I think it's like a really approachable like start the smoky beers. Um, I get a lot of like, like dark chocolates and Things like that from it, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's beautiful. For a 6.6, it's that easy to drink. It's yeah. a bit worrying. It leaves a bit of stickiness in my mouth. It's kind of... The body of it leaves a... It's not sugar, but it's definitely sticky. Yeah, Maybe true. Malt. It's quite it's a resiny. It's got a nice body to it. Which we, we start talking can't about get enough light in here, but I reckon it's yeah. quite a red. It's quite, like yeah, it's quite yeah, red. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a... Not as much as the... um. No, the one we had before. Um, it's got the food. Oh, it's quite no, no, it's the, the, the motorcycle. Oh, that, was, that was quite like nearly amber. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, I just have to go. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. You were so worried that we'd gone. No, no. We're lucky yeah. still here. All one people of you. That being said, though, we have one more beer to go, and that is the Black Ops Black Hawk Imperial Stout. Can't wait. Which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, and Dan's oh. actually he's been advertising it all day. If I turn around, it'll be the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Not for anyone else. Alrighty. So, on to the next one. Hey ho. Hey ho, what chaps? Should I do the